For two of our country's leading and most respected architecture and decor magazine, Good Homes India and Home and Design Trends. Good Homes reaches to the women of today, seeking to experience the best of decor trends and ideas, and endeavors under Donita's creative guidance to come up with exciting and engaging content every month. Home and Design Trends speaks for the professional architect community, is more engaging them directly with the content generation process. That's not all. Ronita was awarded the Women of the Year in 2012 by Hafla International on the occasion of Women's Day. Please put your hands together to welcome the gorgeous, the stylish Ronita Italian. Yes, it's on. Um, guys, I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. It's my first press con. It's going to take me some time, but. Uh, it feels great. It's, it's amazing to be here. Of course, this would not have been possible without Hafla and their constant support. I mean, um, so I'm not going to go on because at some point I will break into tears and uh, my team knows it's an eventuality. But uh, Sami and uh, Team Hafla, thank you very, very much. Jürgen, please come up here and uh, support us like you always do. Thank you so much, Ronita. Yeah, so um, very exciting day today because it's been uh, coming quite a long time. You know, we've been uh, meeting sort of middle of last year or was it early last year, but it's a long time and uh, we were really looking forward to finally seeing this coming to fruition and uh, uh, for everybody to be able to see it on television. So that's going to happen in a, in a matter of days now. So really great. And uh, we're really, really proud to be associated with this program and uh, been able to support you as we as we have so great stuff that's it so now <laughs> down, it's up to you is it <laughs> you? Really? okay so I'd also like to um, invite onto the well stage uh, three very very special uh, people one of them uh, has had absolutely nothing to do with the show, but she's here today because I've uh, known her to be a very, very, uh, very house proud person. She's, um, she's always been involved in some home improvement project or the other to do with her house constantly. Ashwini. She's also, she's also uh, a dear friend today and uh, one of the finest filmmakers our country has today. So that's Ashwin. Um, Richa, Richa Bahel, um, she's been one of our experts. She's been one of our experts on the show. Um, of course, valuable, great, uh, creative uh, inputs, an amazing designer. I've seen some of her work and wow. And finally, Namrita. Again, very, 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 very special and close to my heart. We've, uh, we're now friends, but she's also been one of the experts on the show. Um, she specializes in childhood uh, enhancement projects and um, again, some of the most wonderful work I've seen on uh, the side of well, the equator. So, uh, uh, you know, and I'd like to ask all three women here today, uh, Yogan, I'll spare you that thought. I'll spare you that thought. But um, when we started working on the show, one of the most, uh, one of the primary thoughts in our head was, um, you know, how do you extend your own personal style into your spaces? I think that's one of the most important things that makes you feel at home, where you live, you know? So um, I think that's something that, again, all three of you, I mean, I know you've, you've done that in your own spaces. You've helped me, I mean, two of you have helped us do that for our, uh, uh, for two of our homeowners uh, during season one. So I'm going to throw that open to you guys. Basically, just talk about home. Um, I think, uh, <laughs> no, first of all, I would like to say a big, big, big congratulations to Ronita and the entire Good Homes team. I know I work, I've been working with you guys off and on, and it's, it's really been, and I mean it, it's been a pleasure to work with a team who is so involved, and it's not just, it's not just another design story, you know. I see the amount of people input you guys put in. 
and it pays off because end of the day when i also create a space for someone it's it's you know it's something which becomes very close who no matter who it is so it's really really i really congratulate all of you and really really wish a lot of luck and as for as uh, halfle goes um, full endorsement great products <laughs> I stand by you. We use you. So, <laughs> so, so I mean, and that's endorsement in half. Uh, coming back to homes again, home is is such a special thing to do for someone. You know, when you create a space for someone, and the appreciation you get, and the the satisfaction of someone saying, I don't want to feel, I don't feel like leaving my home. They go for a holiday abroad. They still want to come back home. The little bit of touches which you add for them, it's it's just it's just such a pleasure to create a home for someone. And also, a home is something which is so close to anyone. You can you know, it's a conversation you can pick up with anyone at a party. Also, you can discuss about a chair. You can discuss about a brand. You could discuss landscaping. So it's something which. everyone knows about yet is not does not know the technical bit or whatever but it's something i guess i mean all of you would agree right i mean i ashwini again i know is someone we follow each other on instagram and the minute we put like a little thing which is related to homes and suddenly the conversation starts and we start chatting about all these little things where did you get that from how was the fabric made where was the plant from you know like even i want to do a organic garden it could just vary so i think it's 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 so widespread it's something so personal yet it's something which is very open to all i mean you guys are welcome to pitch in of course your home your space is an extension of your personality so and and your home is just like well it's like a canvas it's your canvas and you can create what you want of it and it speaks volumes about you so that is your expression and uh, that is what your home uh, a home means to me and i feel that's what it means to people and that's how um, i view it congratulations very very proud Uh, because uh, this is something which I have seen as a journey for Anita and her team, and thank you so much for supporting um, Good Homes. Uh, that means a lot, I think, for all of us who belong to a community who wants to live and breathe good design. Um, having said that, uh, I do feel that uh, Good Homes as a magazine uh, caters to the to the India of today, to the uh, to the people, and to the Um, um to the people who work and are looking for a future to have their own homes and uh, the youngsters of today uh, do want uh, homes which reflect their personality at the same time they want it to be world class and when when i say world class i don't mean that it has to have all uh, the fancy things like you would have in a hotel but they want substance which reflects their personality at the same time as a heart so um, it, uh, it is uh, something where uh, we are feeling and we're going to innovation so good news this show uh, does reflect a whole lot of sentiments which is right now of home buyers and people even who want to have a home in the future so it is always there uh, uh, especially i think in our country everyone wants a home first it doesn't matter the home is the most important thing so it doesn't matter small big but that's their home uh, and therefore when a house becomes a home that's good homes so so um uh, um i do feel uh, um that uh, this is this is extremely nice and i hope it goes on for seasons and seasons and we uh, do reflect yeah and we do keep reflecting and i say we because we all think i feel that we all belong to the same community and uh, it goes seasons and seasons and we keep reflecting uh, the nature of our of our home makers so um i'm not a woman technically so <laughs> No, probably I'm allowed to say something anyway. So, <laughs> so um, I wanted to talk a little, little bit about the program and and how that's different from the magazine and how that's you know sort of uh, helping you to uh, realize your dreams that you have about interiors. I think a lot of us 
know exactly what they want, and uh, maybe not what they want, but they know what they like and they know what they don't like. But they don't know exactly how to get there from that, from that one side to the other side and how to fill that then with all the wonderful things that then finally make up your home. So a magazine can of course help you an awful lot because you, know, you can go through the pages and you get inspirations. But really, um, when you see that in a program on television, how it evolves, is uh, a completely different thing. So it's a much more uh, involving experience. Um, how you how you choose that sofa? How do you choose that that, that wallpaper? How do you choose that curtain? How do you uh, choose the accessories and where do you find them? That's another big challenge in in a lot of the markets. And um, so I think it's a, it's a wonderful expression of what you can do with the home. And then when you finally look at this wow thing at the end of the program that you have created that has been created for you. Um, I think it's been well worth it. I mean, even even me as a viewer of the program, uh, I get very excited throughout it, and then at the end I say, "Wow, you know, now I want to do that as well." Um, even though I, you know, my house should technically be ready, but uh, I want to want to start redecorating, you know, because I got so many new ideas. And I think that's what a program like uh, like like Good Homes on on television does to you. It, it sort of uh, involves and engages you much much more uh, than than even the the magazine, which of course is fantastic, but. Um, it goes beyond that. And, um, and finally, then in our own um, interest as well, coming to a design center here, like, like the Hafler Design Center, where you can actually then not just watch it on television, but you can feel and touch and experience uh, the, the interior solutions as well. It's sort of going the last final step um, that you can really do to, to experience what is going to happen in your house and, and make choices. So, so it's becoming very uh, interactive. So, fantastic. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I saw the first show already. Please give them for you know, but Let's see the preview. Yes. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to Ladies first. <laughs> Your personal favorite makeover. Okay, so honestly, um, I've been too closely involved to be objective about this. Um, I've had favorite bits and pieces but one of my most challenging projects and the team will vouch for it uh, was the bedroom that we did which was a victorian style and um, i just when we started working on the bedroom um, i every time i would step into the room i used to get this eerie feeling and i just could not open my mouth it was one of those situations where uh, someone like me was speechless and um, Every, every time I would step into that room, I would be, I couldn't, I couldn't talk and it's happening to me again. Um, I, would go, I would go blank, I would go speechless. I, I used to keep feeling that somebody, somebody's gonna you know, walk out from behind the curtain. Um, it was extremely, extremely freaky. I mean, I was in tears uh, while shooting that um, episode. It's, it's not normal. But uh, I think by the time we finally kind of got done with the space, um, we were all so happy with it that uh, it felt like it was out of the, out of the country. It, was, it, it didn't feel like it belonged here. And uh, so yeah, I think that was one of my most memorable um, experiences. I mean, uh, the team has got fired. We've had our worst fights. Um, I've, been, I've been the most unwell ever in my life during that uh, Episode, so yeah, that, that would. Okay, one episode that you can recollect. All of them, oh my <laughs> God, oh my God. It's like it happened yesterday. Um, I remember the first day we started shooting. Uh, it was, we were, we were uh, it was in Mud Island and you know, we had to rush back uh, to meet a couple of our experts. Richa was uh, one of them. It was, it was this, it's, it's just, it happened yesterday. I remember all of them and uh, I want to do it all over again, exactly the same. Okay, last question. What can we expect going forward from the 10th anniversary? Um, so yeah, this, this is a milestone year for us. It's our 10th uh, year running. Um, and as part of an organization that is, uh, you know, really, really keeping up with the changing times, there's going to be a lot of new things that we're going to uh, do. As part of uh, the worldwide media strategy, uh, content strategy going forward there's going to be a lot of amazing platform agnostic content that you're going to see so uh, we're also going to be I mean 
which is essentially why television. It's not like uh, it's not like we're leaving print behind and you know moving on, but it's just that we're spreading our wings and including all the all the various platforms uh, that are a part of our lives today. So uh, that means digital. That means obviously television. We're also expanding and doing a lot of great quality content for social media because today that is your uh, single most powerful tool going forward. So, uh, in fact, very, very exciting uh, bit of news. We've also launched something within the organization called the Content Studio, which is going to help us and handhold us in, uh, you know, creating new content for these various platforms. So, um, well, not just the 10th year, worldwide media as an organization is seeing a lot of very, very exciting uh, movement. So, yes. I think she really deserves a huge round of applause. What say, guys? Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. My one question to you, sir. What is the objective of the association of Half Love with Good Homes TV show? What is it that you're looking forward to? Well, you see, um, we are in a, in a very unfortunate category, um, <laughs> which is sort of hardware fittings. And well, it's very important, but really doesn't, doesn't normally get a lot of attention. You know, because um, even when, when you see big features on homes, uh, you see who's done the paint, who's done this, who's done that. You never see the guy who's done the hardware uh, and actually makes it all work. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we get the phone calls afterwards as well. So um, we've been really trying over the last sort of 15 years to try and change that and, and, and make uh, fittings into a category that is not only recognized but appreciated. Um, by putting it into context with the application that it finally goes into. And I think this is what we're also showing here. And this is also what we're trying to show on the program, of course, you know, to, to bring that to life and see what you can do with it. Because fittings now go beyond functionality. They go into the aesthetics and enhance, in fact, the, uh, the dreams of the designers uh, that, uh, that they have and, and, and their concepts that they want to realize. And we see ourselves as collaborators of uh, architects and designers uh, to uh, help them uh, realize their dreams. And, and this is really where we're going and much, much more into the lifestyle arena. And that's where we meet, of course, with Good Homes. And uh, we've been working very long together um, in this magazine and the previous one, um, <laughs> not to be mentioned. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a very, very successful cooperation. And um, I think we have a a very healthy mutual appreciation for each other and where our strengths lie and where we can complement each other. Uh, and it's always worked very well. When Ronita came to us with the television thing, um, she literally ran in open doors with me because I've been saying for years, why don't we have a decent um, you know, home uh, remake show? Not just talking about homes, uh, but actually uh, redo a complete flat and, 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 and uh, renovate and uh, or even start from scratch um, because these programs have been around for a long, long time in many other countries and uh, create a lot of excitement and a lot of uh, emotional um, context. And we didn't have that here in India. And so this is really the first show that, that does that and does it very well. Um, don't ask me any questions about the episodes because I've only seen one. Um, but I was uh, very, very excited to see that. It was really, really good, the first one. So, um, yeah, great association. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And um, when we go into season two, we just have to talk about the, uh, the increment, you know, but I have to keep that a little, a little real. <laughs> right. <laughs> Back to you. Thank you so much for gracing and beautifying this auspicious occasion with your presence. Let's give them another round of applause, please. I actually have uh, something that I want to ask both Namrata and Richa sure. uh, before we let, uh, you know, this open to the press the questions. Um, Namrita first, you've worked on a very, very specific... Um, yeah, please. You worked on a very, I mean, this whole childhood, childhood enhancement uh, uh, project. I mean, also, in, it's the segment that you're working in. Um, I'm fascinated. You know the whole the whole development of the child and spaces for that. Just tell us more about that. Tell me more. 
Okay, so we at NVS Kids, NVS Design, we work towards childhood enhancement, and we truly believe that if the childhood is better, then we'll all grow into better human beings, and that's where actually the whole idea and the concept comes from. And with my background in architecture and interior design, uh, it's just something I sort of actually didn't really... Uh, I, well, I, when it started off, it was not by design, but it was basically because I had kids, and then I was like, oh my God, this person that I have in my life needs a space that needs to work for that person and not for me, right? So I began to, you know, uh, delve into like uh, child psychology and to see what that... So for example, um, like a dining table is a dining table to you and me, but for a child, the dining table is actually a little house to go under it. Have you ever seen a child sitting at the table and eating properly? Maybe for a bit, but otherwise the child wants to go under the table. So that is how a child sees the world and sees spaces and sees furniture and that is what it does to a child. So I began to see it from the child's point of view simply because I had these little creatures in my life. Very cute they are. Um, and they taught me a lot. Um, they taught me how to be a mother. Um, and yeah, and I just thought I had to do this. You know, I had to use my expertise to create spaces for them. And then one led to another. And then it just all started rolling. And I was like, OK, so let's just focus on childhood enhancement. And that's how it came about. And that was the birth of Envious Kids. Yeah. So we've born the, uh, we benefited from it. So thank you very much for No, absolutely. And you know, I must share with you that also what's happening now is that there's a lot more awareness towards childhood, right? So we grew up in a time where we were just like left and we grew, we are fine. We're all, we've all grown up all right. We're not like exactly damaged or shattered or, you know, dysfunctional. But there, there's so much more awareness and there's so much more knowledge. Uh, why, why not use it, you know, to better childhood? And maybe the world truly, I, I mean, I truly feel like a social entrepreneur sometimes because it's very hard to really make money in the space that I work in. Uh, but as long as I can just make a difference to the world, to the generations, you know, um, this is this is my cause. Um, yeah, so that that's just all fair. it is. Which is fair. We love the cause. <laughs> and uh, there's another very very important thing that I came across while working uh, on season one, is uh, the apprehension that Indian homemakers and homeowners feel towards color. Uh, Richa, talk to me about it. Yeah, I, I work with so many families with kids and uh, listening to you, I feel like I do too much typical stuff. I need to come to you. <laughs> so I'll come to you. Coming back to your question, Ronald, I don't know what is with this color and Indians. Um, I think um, it's, it's somewhere in some way inside that if you don't put color in your walls, the house is not going to be a house anymore. But what I really try, and every time I do a project also, is I try and, try and bring in color through all the little, little other things which you know, can be added. It could be the accessories you use, the cushions you use, you know, the rugs you put. So it's, it's like a little bit of a learning, teaching process. And also sometimes the space dictates a lot. So the color actually has a... Um, you know, there, there are no rules to a color. It's, it's sometimes there's enough light coming in, so you don't want to hamper that light with color. There's sometimes there's something really needs to be lightened, and you need to focus, so you add color there. So it's, it's, a, like, a, it's, it's like a mix of a lot of things working together, and you do. But what I love is that as an Indian, we have the advantage of so many colors. We just need to know how to use them well. You know, uh, instead of just making something very bold and like full on, it's how you use it in hints, how do you introduce them in an interesting way. And these things just turn, I mean, even our artifacts, sometimes I, I go to these really, like I went to, I went to Kochi Binale and I went to these local shops. You know, they had these amazing frames of 3D gods. So you would like, if you would change them, you know the holograms you would get when you were in school and they had made these god, frames out of them, so funky and so amazing. I, I bought like 10 of them. And believe me, they got all gifted because everyone just took them from me. <laughs> they came to my studio and everyone, each friend would be like, can I please have it? So it's just, you can do so much 
it's just yeah you would you just need to be guided and i think your show i mean whatever little i saw right now it looks fantastic it's a need of the hour uh, a lot of people reach out to me and sadly you even with your work and with your life you and with budgets and so many things you can't help people and i think it's a great way to reach out and um, and for you, I think half late more and more. I'm thinking is a, is a great fit because you know more and more I think about it. It's you know the house can look beautiful, but the house doesn't function. I've seen relationships break over washing machine not being put on time. <laughs> okay, so these things really do matter, and um, it's a great effort. I think it's a great brand journey also to take, and it's a good fit. And I'm really looking forward to see it and be a part of it. And wish you guys a lot of lot of lot of luck, and. Good, 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 good results. <laughs> Thank you so much. The session is open for me. Uh, so basically, uh, Gudong's uh, show, uh, I feel that it's the right, it's the need of the hour. It is something which uh, uh, every Indian would like to watch, especially the youngsters, the new, uh, the new married couples, uh, the uh, the guys who who have uh, recently want to settle in and you know want to buy a new house or, or are already in a house and want to do up their houses. So it is for people uh, of uh, the generation next, and uh, it is a very important show which needed to come because uh, uh, because I think you get inspired and as a hota hai ki jab aap kuch dekhte ho to fir aapko lagta hai yaar hamare paas bhi aisa kuch hona chahiye so at least you work towards it agar wo time mein nahi hota to theek hai but then you work towards it so so yes so uh, it's it's a very good initiative by uh, the group okay so when you went to know what was your first time uh, so uh, I have known, kind of known the good old Steve for a very dear friend at the same time. Uh, I think she's someone who's always very innovative. And uh, that innovation uh, really makes a lot of difference. Uh, since she's laughing. And that innovation really makes a lot of difference when you are uh, going towards what is the future of our country. And if the future of our country is about uh, innovation and making the uh, creative, creative uh, ideas for television or for uh, the film, then uh, this is the way it makes to work. So what, what kind of forms do you like? I like homes which reflect your own personality and it doesn't matter even uh, if it is the most simplest home, uh, it should reflect your personality and I feel that when we all have grown up, why do we feel good at home? So, it's a bomb in the house, 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 it's a bomb in the house. So, I think that wherever you do it, if 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 you have any furniture or any design, if you have any warmth in the design, if you have any warmth in the design, then you don't have any warmth in the design. When you have a monthly application, how do you have a monthly application? Then you will see it in the next year. Do you want to tell me about the projects? I can't tell you anything. Bye! Thank you. I'm Nokia. It's very very exciting. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great move for us. Uh, Udom is a very consumer driven uh, brand. Uh, a lot of our readers are very very uh, uh, involved in uh, you know as part of our 10th year celebration. So TV was a perfect uh, evolution for the brand. It was a great next step. We are we're already on the digital platform where we have a great social media presence. The magazine is very, very popular. So the next media that was, the next step that we had to take was television. So uh, it feels great. It's a fabulous uh, well, next step for us. What sort of things will be there in the show? Um, so the show is for every single every single person who is uh, well interested in doing up their home and uh,
wants to live well. We've got uh, we've got great advice in terms of uh, you know how to shop, where to go, how do you plan your space, how do you optimize your space, how do you make the most of what you have. Um, everything, everything, right from the planning stage to the styling stage, we've we've taken you through the entire process, and uh, I think as Indian audiences, there's very little out there for us, which has come from our own uh, well industry. So I think that that in itself is a great step for us. And I'm really thankful. So what do you have to say? Like, oh, again, okay. 10th anniversary. Happy birthday, Good Homes. I'm feeling so good about it. Uh, it's a very very special landmark for us, and uh, I think this move. Uh, going on to television, taking, extending the brand to well another medium that was completely new to us. Uh, it's a great way to celebrate our uh, landmark year. So we will be very sure. Oh yes, I've been. It's not just me. The whole the team has been there in the show. We've we've uh, we've all been involved very very closely. Uh, we've worked very closely on the show together. Uh, my art team, my style team. We every time we've gone across and met the homeowner whose house we were working on, we've we've taken down exactly what they want to do with the space. We've given them exactly what they've been dreaming of for their house. So um, you know, it's been a very very special experience for us. I mean, after almost 18 years of working in the industry, I've learned something new. So it's a, it's a, it's a great great place for me to be. Tiny, what do you have to say about your show? Watch it. Watch the Good Homes show. Um, it's a very special uh, show. You're going to love it. You're going to. Well, I'm hoping want to see a lot more of it. So watch it it's on TLC. Our first episode airs on the 11th, well, which is next Sunday at uh, 7 p.m. So watch it. What do you have to say about the association? Um, I think it's a, a marriage made in heaven. I think uh, Heffler and uh, Good Homes are really complementing each other here in this uh, particular program. Uh, we are bringing sort of the, the product, the, the design ideas, uh, the functionality uh, into the program, and of course um, uh, the whole uh, the way that the product is conceived creates a lot of excitement um, around interiors and, um, and of course their benefits. What is the one thing you like about the Good Homes? Well, I mean, generally, um, we need magazines like Good Homes who can help us uh, decide. Um, as I said earlier, we uh, typically know what we don't like and we, we know what we like, but we don't really know how to get there. So uh, Good Homes is sort of uh, sh showing us the way um, in the magazine as well as the program now, uh, how we can achieve um, uh, fabulous and, and exciting materials that maybe alone we wouldn't have been quite able to do. So um, that's that's where, where Good Home really, really is. Right? So what sort of expectations are from this? There's several aspects to it. You know, first of all, um, it, it was great fun to do, right? And um, all of the, the values in the company actually are to uh, also have fun um, while you're working. And uh, so that, that was a fun thing to do. And um, of course, we are hoping that um, uh, with this Association with Good Homes, you know, the brand will come out and uh, people will understand a little more what Havel is all about and how we can uh, support, enhance, uh, and help you in your interiors and uh, bring more customers to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm very excited about this show. Like I said, you know, uh, it's a need of the hour. A lot of people are struggling with, you know, they want a good space, they don't have the budget. They have the ideas, but they don't know how to execute them. They need little tips. They need little guidance. And I think this show is definitely going to bring that on board for them. And it's, again, something in our country which we don't really pay attention to. But home is such an important part. I mean, I can have a conversation with you about home, you know? So you can talk to anyone about it. So it's, it's, it's really important that the shows like this are there to educate people, to show them what are the new things. They can also add uh, whatever little value or ideas to their house. So I think this show is going to be 
a very very good thing so what kind of homes and decor do you like um so the kind of homes i do i uh, don't have like a word for my style but i call it fusion because um, i the kind of people i deal with where i come from is that i i need to make a house which looks like a home and not a house so i make sure that when someone walks in it's it's lived in there is warmth in it it's cozy it's functional so and i like love to bring india along with the other different countries so it's more contemporary it's more fusion you know you pick up there's so much heritage and there's so much design in our country and there's so much different kind of design lines abroad so you, how do you marry them and that's that's what i love doing and that's so my style sorry so show? i am there in the show and uh, I'm, i've done some tips uh, part with ronita and let's see we'll we'll take it forward and let them see how the show goes what happens and they can also get feedback they can add more things to it so we'll see what happens from there thank you so much